King, lying in wait, rest until the next. Jeez, why is so early? Dude. There we go, getting off. Gonna wait an entire day. Oh, there's Bubbles. Hello, Miss Bubbles. Ding, your clothes. Barbara, did you change back? Jean, why did you change back? Well, this is a complex and evolving situation, so we should be ready for any eventuality for security reasons. We changed back into more combat-ready attire, even though it may not allow us to make the most of the surroundings. My apologies. Don't apologize. It's in everyone's best interest. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from that one of the other islands. I think I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. It must be Dodo King. <sighs> Even Paimon's starting to believe that this Dodo King might actually show up. I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you follow me, let's investigate. I still kept freaking to switch to Wind Traveler. Oh well, maybe I'll get used to Geo Traveler. I'm in my natural habitat, my computer. I wonder if the PC controls are a bit wonkier than the mobile controls. Actually, the PC controls this time are slightly easier compared to, uh, what was it, the Windbloom Festival, I think? What does that look like, Dila? Is that Dila? Look, there's two figures over there. Huh? It looks like... It is Dila! Luke, whatever. <laughs> he doesn't look too ha- Oh, hey, Kea! But I thought he was supposed to be watching- the heck are you, they doing here? It's Kaya and the weird grown-up. Uh, I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. What are you two doing here? Huh, so it's not Dota King? Mm, Dota King, huh? So it was Dota King that invited you to these islands, but Kaya's supposed to be watching the... Yeah, isn't he? I'll get to that, but first, I want to enjoy some more of the island sunstar and Master d -like might actually get a tan. <laughs> Wait, did you two sail here? How to get past the storms and the fog? Storms and fog, we must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there was a patch of fog in sight. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport. And you mean to volunteer you over here? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly com Vicious affair eye-catching one could say. We saw everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo still. Word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. You think goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? Oh jeez. Has he discovered the vent he is? I guess Savala must be a diehard fan of classical ballet. <laughs> I assume you two travel here together. You assume that acting... Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do you seem like fitting travel companions to you? Ugh. There were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons, various reasons. Let's just say that big egos aren't conductive to teams' cohesion. I mean, they abandoned to uh, an incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary night. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor, huh? Albedo and Razor, yay! Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation. Wait, Kaya, it, or Kaya? If you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Fufu? That's my question, the mighty... Lisa, not to worry, in some ways she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoer is a monster. I need to watch out for the next several days. Especially if they forget their library books. Thankful Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Oh uh, yeah, I said I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We were that he might be in danger, so we also leaped off the dragon and glided into this island, but as you can see, this is but a deserted island. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact while Delic believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us during our little dispute, albeit quietly disappeared. How characteristic of him must have found something he is more interested in, albeit skilled at avoiding. <laughs> How come he was able to walk off but you two are stuck here? Ah, uh, who knows, perhaps we're fated to be doomed together, right? Master Dilek. Oh, is that so? Albedo is an alchemist and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful art 
official flowers of his, it would be simple for to traverse these islands. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence that we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took. Such effort to freeze, who may cry on Pyros incompatible. If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water. Paimon still can't tell if you guys are really close or <laughs> Why not both? Regardless, things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation you two. Please join our travels. Sure, but of course, our top priority is to find out Beto and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. There's no time to lose. Let's look for him. Where my boat? Here we go. This island is really big, where could he be? Alberto, Mr. Alberto, Alberto, come out. Hmm, is that the Traveler in Paimon? Oh, he just came out of nowhere behind us, Mr. Alberto. Hello everyone, hello Clee. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoy your stroll, how kind of you to remove us on that neighboring island. Please don't mention it, I felt that the two of you could use some alone time. <laughs> Alberto, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master Delix is Dodo King? Everyone's letter was different and yet all of them drew us to this to these islands is what i'm gonna say my letter was very simple i have clea if you wish to see her come to the golden apple that's blackmail dota king trying to cover coerce you correct it would appear that i have been successfully coerced my letter was sent assembly straightforward among the deserted islands you will find a shunken pirate ship within lies great treasure and along lost antique faces of incredible rarity. Haha, <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Haya, does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? No, probably not, no. Anyway, so what's your story, Delug? There is an abyss order stronghold among the deserted islands, make haste. You have to admire the strategy, the right bait for the right fish. So, stra so strange, they're all personalized, but why did Dodo King gather everyone here? <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. I never trusted the letter to begin with. Yes, it would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. Oh, didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. A kind-hearted cat-eared gentleman on the way over. Oh, Poppy Mama knows. Mama knows it must be draft, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The red Bernie girl has gone to the island. She needs help. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists, but there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. No, no, Dodo King is real. He is, he is Dodo King, if you say so. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found and there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump. If he didn't land here, then he must have made his way somewhere over there. That platform. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago. There was a mysterious machine. Gene said it came from. Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Look over there. Razor! Everyone, I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need, okay. What are you doing here? I smelled something. This gift to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? 
Clear smell, same as ladder. Well, I'm kind of glad Razor is here. Razor did mention that his letter had a particular smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. <gasps> did Dota King factor that in too? Also, this one and that one's same smell. Oh, this thing put inside metal person, same. Here, me? Yeah. You want me to do it? Yes, I don't understand how. Travel is clever. Razor trust. Yeah, Clea trusts Honor and I too. Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? We'll probably have to fight something. Uh, this machine could well be something that Dota King left here for us to find and activate. Probably. It might reawaken Dota King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honor and I prepare yourself. I've been ready. Clea really wanted to meet Dota King. That's why we came here, right? You're right, let's do this. Alright, let's do this. Oh, yep, yeah, I- Oh, he's gonna be easy. He's only level 54. Oh, this is gonna be a freaking cakewalk. Just to- Oh, oh, maybe not. Why is this 54? I thought it would, like, level sink or something. Okay, let's do that. Human auto- I don't think that's Dodo King, though. He's got a lot of, uh, what you, oh, he's, he's ice. Lovely. So he, I think he can freeze. Ooh, is he using wind too? No. It looked like wind. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna be able to fight him a little. He looks like wind and ice, I think. Ooh, so he must use that mass to defend himself, I guess. If that's what it looks. I don't like the look of that. Oh, that must be like a oof. It kind of hurt a little bit. Hold on, I need bubbles. I'm glad he's not level 70. We'd probably be here for a little little while. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Ooh, ooh, I didn't like that. Get away from him, get away. Where, okay, there's the actual one. No, 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 oof. It kind of hurt a little bit. Tis but to scratch. Okay, ooh, I don't like the look of that. <laughs> okay, we can heal a bit. That's nice. Oh, wait, 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 switch. And no, get away, get away, get away. Ooh, ooh. Bubbles, heal, thank you. Almost there, almost there. Oof, smacked it right in the face. Almost, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's not, let's not, let's not get hit by that. No, this is a cakewalk. Ooh, finally. Look, what's that? Are those crystals? We should ask the expert. Let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant attire is machine modeled on the human form. Is it built for fighting like Rune Guard? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its in a zoom in origin. But as far as I know, still under attack. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems that it's the answer to the question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this, these islands people. I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this, these islands once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the islands have been empty with a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals, they've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? It sounds like somebody wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. How can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. I see. What about the rest of you? What do you think? Commemorate machine this way. Perhaps someone who is truly grateful. Only people that have benefited directly from the machine. If the machine coexisted with the first group of humans, then the memorial.
tutorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexist, you mean before it became damaged, I wonder what exactly happened to it. There is a hilly shore presence here. Perhaps this machine's attack is actually supposed to be targeted at hilly turtles to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought, in any case. This is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we need more evidence. Yes, though, we don't have any clues to go on. We should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look, another letter. It must be Do Dodo King. I'll let her quick read it. Mysterious Dodo King. Mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone in the southwesterly isle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark. The stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. The secret lies here, do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles, he's trying to tell us something. What could it mean? Does it have anything to do with those crystals? Also, southwesterly isle. Now, which island could that be? Um, southwesterly? I'd say it's about time we went and investigate instead of sitting here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There's two. The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge round thingy on it. Clea, did you go off by yourself again without authorization again? Oh, sorry, I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Clea, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first. Okay, we'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. Yay, okay. <sighs> Where does she get the energy? If Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Clea's mother. <laughs> you know I had the exact same thought just now. Kaya... Haha, <laughs> my apologies, acting room master, honorary night, let's go and take a look. Of course, okay, so it's- oh, there's two places I haven't discovered yet. At least the sites are pretty. How do we get rid of this? Hmm, is this a shield? Hmm, it doesn't look very solid though, seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you don't touch it, it might send us flying for all we know. Big shield, big shield, hmm, clean nose, you're in there. Hey Dodo King, it's me, Clea, come out and face me. Come out and face, are you here? No answer, maybe he's not he here. No, he's gotta be here. The bigger the shield, the better Dodo King must be. Sounds like Clea logic to Paimon. I think Clea is right, it's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference, I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source so we can find the connected devices to this source we should be able to destroy it let's look for any potential devices in the vicinity ready steady da 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 clee walk don't run come on you don't want to finish last place do you let's go is this like some kind of puzzle i have to do oh is it the crystal thingy so we got land with the shield three devices in total like alberto are you direct us Fix some place. What shape is that? I would some explain. I suppose what could be we're by the ocean. But what about the the crystals we found? Your scale. The clues around. I thought we I thought we got those. They have to be transparent, right? Never seen anything like this. So that's what they're for. It is a function. I've seen designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements. Mechanism is only active if it can. Light conditions are met. It would appear that these three and the key. Would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installation themselves have red, blue, and yellow. Yes, yeah, just like the letter. Keys of three guarded as by a strange fish. Oh, that's right. Rain night. Didn't that big machine was just. Yeah, that's what I said. There's three crystals. Uh, red like flower petals. Light blue like ocean waves. Light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to the whole riddle. Give precious things to greedy spirit in the sea. Is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct, Honorary and I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan. In that case, Paimon's got something to say. 
On the way over, Paimon saw a huge car shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to go. Do it, plus the water's pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plane doesn't work. It'll work, don't jinx it. Okay, okay, it'll work, everyone follow Paimon. Oh, that is one big gigantic shell. Oh, are, are we just supposed to do all of them? Oh, I guess we're supposed to just throw all of them there. <laughs> that we're supposed to choose. Which one? That should do it right. But where are the fish? Plea, was there anything else in that letter? Um, what was it? Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a rig. The days grow dark, this- Oh, it has to be night. Uh, to put it, we're gonna have to, of course, catch fish eat. Yeah, let's go fishing. Hold on, Clee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Clee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean and then we can go together, right? Yes, I did say that. Alright then, time to go fish blasting with Clee. Is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Clea are gonna go fish blasting. It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. Well, I mean, the explosions will cook the fish, so you didn't even have to worry about that. Find some fish. Find some fish. Let's go. There are many fish. Clea's gonna get there first. Wait, wait. Well, there they go. It, well, if Razor's going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll, meaning you're off on another pirate adventure, huh? Haha, <laughs> who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kai is on the case. Ugh. Master Deluk, aren't you interested in pirate adventure or treasure? Hardly am more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least I was able to sit and enjoy that. <laughs> you loved ages ago. You want to spend some time alone painting. Jesus up with everyone. Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's more often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself too. Thanks, Jean. You're the best. We have five minutes. It'll be over. We're a little late. Whatever. We like to sleep in here. Are the fish. As we suspected, they were drawn to the crystal. Catchy, catchy fish. Ah, oh, no, no, no. To keep Clea from blowing up the fish to pieces, perhaps it'd be better to let us catch the fish. After all, we're experts at collecting all manner of wildlife. Do I have to go catch some fish now? Catch fish to obtain scales? I need one more, just one more to go. This one over here? There we go, I got it. Okay. But I can't reach that high, then I'll be your helping hand. And you say now nah, I'll place it. Then we'll place the fish scales and let Clee activate the final and most important mechanism. Okie dokie. I'm going to finally see you, Dodo King. Hee <laughs> hee. Time to see what you really look like. I must say, Clee is incredibly excited. You can do it, Miss Honorary Knight. I'm cheering for you. Yay! Is there a specific... Sure. Sure. Hopefully there isn't a specific way I should do this. I'm worried. What if Dodo King really is in here? And what if he doesn't allow me to become Dodo Ko's family or if I lose to him? You're not gonna lose to him. We won't allow that. Then Dodo Ko can't be with me and Mom will be very sad too. Dodo Ko is my bestest friend that Mom ever gave me. I'm too scared to press it. Miss Honorary Knight, can you press the button for me? Clee, I can help you press it. Why? Or I can't help because I have to hold my weapon. <laughs> I read that wrong, I'm sorry. This way I can protect you. Yes, we're all here for you. Don't worry, Clee, we all got your back. 
matter who the enemy is, as long as we're here, you don't have to be afraid. Perfect. I also want to see how strong the enemies on this island really are. Go. Oh. Guys, don't say things like that. What if Dodo King just wants to invite Klee to his house to chat? Or yes, maybe he already approves of Klee. Will he really approve of me? Why wouldn't he? You've always tried your best and have done a good job. Really? <laughs> I can't keep up with all these freaking... There's <laughs> so many I'm trying to change my voice, but I'm really tired. <laughs> You're my favoritist friend. He will approve of you. I know it. You're my favoritist friend. All right. Leave this to me. Press, press, press the button. Is Dota King really here? I hope so. I was gonna say, I kind of hope he's a frog. Huh? Wait, is this just a vacation then? Yay, ta da da! Huh, this is. Wait, I must be confused. What is this? Whoa, this entire island is like a massive gift box hidden beneath the energy shield. There seems to be something over there. Shall we take a look? Yes, I want to look. Look at Girl Flame. You have finally arrived. I've waited far too long. How very boring. You dare face me, the overlord of the Dodo clan, Dodo king, such glorious courage. Though, such courage is admirable, but it is now meaningless because, because Dodo king is me, your mother, Alice. Huh, ma? Wait, Alice, the person who wrote the Teva traveler guide? Our travel guide? Clea and her fellow islanders, hey there. It was, it was a prank. It was a prank. So how did you like it here? Was it fun? Summer skies and the ocean surf? Hmm, quit the vacation now. There's no use looking for me. I'm not actually near you. The speaking device on the platform before you is none other than my personal creation, the Alice Phonograph. I'm using it to convey a mother's love. Uh, you can't be serious. Hey, I didn't scare you all off, did I? Sorry, my Klee loves playing with all sorts of small toys as her mother and actually want to support her. These toys aren't small at all. Please, mother It's a pity that I can't meet you, but I'll be watching your every move from afar, just as always. It was actually Alice how careless of me. Wait, what? You might find all this a bit odd. Why would a mother so far from home expend so much effort to create such an aquatic wonderland? Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. I've personally been to those islands. I absolutely adore the ancient ruins and unique landscapes. I prepared everything so you all can take part and enjoy the islands as well. Please, mother also seems to have quite the free spirit. Hee <laughs> hee. Are any of you saying bad things about me now? Huh? No, no, is she listening to us? I doubt it sounds like a pre-recording. No need to be so troubled. What do you mean? His mother Alice is an extremely enigmatic and near omnipotent sources. Don't be overly concerned. This is just her character. You must have been curious about what was behind those letters, the boats, the buoys, the energy shield. Actually, I thought it was a lot of effort, but this was the only way to invite everyone here, am I right? The islands are just full of stories, the original inhabitants, shipwrecks, mystical machinery, countless coincidences coincidences converge here. It would have been such a waste if I didn't make these arrangements. Now let me guess, everyone who received a letter should be present. Kaya, Delic, Razor, Jean, Barbara, Bubbles, and then there's the reliable and intelligent Albedo, and the mysterious traveler and her good companion Paimon. You mean emergency food, Paimon. You all were invited by me to accompany Klee. Thank you all for allowing my daughter to have a memorable summer. Everything on the island is a gift for you all, as thanks for keeping my little Klee company. But when you hear this recording, it'll, or I'll be tr already traveling in other faraway lands. I can't read right now. Ugh. The life of a traveler such... 
haste and amusement, haha, <laughs> asked the traveler next to you, and you'll know. So Alice went to all these lengths because she was too busy to be with Clee. No, Mom slept just like that. Now, everyone, if you're trying to find some hidden meaning in all this, I must tell you that the situation is as complicated as you may think. The reason why I like the city of Mondstadt is that its freedom is exactly what my daughter and I could ever hope for. My wish is simple. I want Clea to grow up with a curious yet kind heart. As long as she so desires, she can do anything and go anywhere. So that's it. Well, I must admit that it certainly fits Alice's style. My apologies, I misunderstood. It must be nice to have a mom who's such a character. Yep, mom is the bestest mom. Mom, we caught fish, sailed a boat, went swimming, and played a lot of things. Everyone's been super duper amazing and very kind to me. Next time, you can come with us and we can all play here again. It appears that mother and daughter are kindred spirits, both wild and free. Ah, uh, summer. Speaking of summer, when I went to those islands, it also happened to be summer. Sitting on the beach, listening to the waves roll against my feet, I thought of you. Clee, you are a child of summer, a present to me from the sea and the wind. Mom is thankful for your birth and wanted to give you something. So mom dressed up these islands, transformed the ancient ruins into a summer, and used the moniker of Dodo King to invite you. Now they're in another world. There are tales of wondrous islands named after golden apples known by many names. It embodies the magical vista conjured by human fantasy. Mom loves that story and wanted you to enjoy the wonderful things in it. So mom gave you a sapphire waters, pearly sands, a fantastical paradise for you and for those who love you. So there were only three crystals, light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. Perhaps from Alice's perspective, these islands are the natural fourth crystal located in the middle of the sea and covered by plant life. It truly is lustrous and emerald summer crystal. Clea, just like mom, you are of a race blessed with longevity. For us, time is like a gust of wind, moments come and end. In such a long life, parents are but a child's first connection. Even though we don't want to be separated, there will come the day when you must walk your own path. Clea, Mom will always love you, but there are also others by your side. Friends who accompany you, teachers who educate you, people who are willing to stay on an island for you despite knowing how unusual it is. The summer is for everyone, no matter how life changes, no matter how many things happen this year, summer will never disappear just like the love between people. From now on, regardless of wherever you go, I hope you never forget how many people in this world love you. Oh yes, be sure to listen to Mr. Albedo at home. Mom will regularly return to see you too. Actually, whenever I have a moment to spare, I sneak back to check on you and everyone else. He <laughs> he has no one noticed. Aunt Alice, same as ever. You don't think Albedo knew from the start, do you? Huh? Time's almost up, so I'll stop here right right. I spent a lot of effort on this place, so y'all must play your hearts out. Everyone, my darling Clee, see you next time. Bye, Mom! Clee seems particularly happy. The king was actually Mom. I don't know why, but I'm very happy. It doesn't matter if it's Mom blowing up Mom's dad's main gate, or Mom getting grounded, or Mom writing weird letters. Clee loves her very much. Will you feel lonely without your mother? Nope. Mom is the strongest mage, so she can keep me company no matter where she is. She never lets me feel lonely. I love Mom this much. It's on our night. Do you love Clee? Um, duh. I also love you very much. You have play. You have to play with me lots here, else Mom will be disappointed. And will Clee be disappointed too? I still have a lot of jump jumpy dumpties and I brought Dodoco here too. I'll take you swimming and fish blasting. It's always fun when we're with you, Clee. Hey, come on!
Let's not keep clean waiting. Come on, let's go.